Hey guys, for this give you here a quick little status update about a new update that's exclusively uh, only available for the iPhone 4S right now. Not for my, you know, version though. I'm not sure why. I've checked in iTunes. Uh, and also, I just want to say here uh, that the update is basically being called. Wait a sec. Um, I just want to show you here pretty quick. Uh, with mine is being called. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show you all of these other things, but as you can see, I'm running an iOS swap in the point one right now. But that's one's being called uh, 9A405. Now, Apple made something uh, a little tricky here. They made a new update uh, for iPhone 4S, but still being called the 5.0.1 update. Uh, but it is uh, basically the you know the model number is uh, the 9A500 and or 406 so they go from 405 to 406 and uh, it seems like they made uh, an interesting thing in this update and that is basically that now it seems like you know muscle nerd you know one of these jabber guys he had tweeted out that it seems uh, like there is this encryption key right now in the iPhone 4S for the main file system it's now being accessible uh, that basically means that possibly in the future uh, we could get a legal Siri port by if you have a, if you have an iPhone 4S then we may get this legal uh, Siri port that would basically work like this you take your key here on your iPhone 4s and then you will basically in some way uh, Be able to share it with all of your other iOS devices in your home uh, But I don't think that you will be able to do it with more units than like a couple and also what you should remember here is that you, it seems like uh, When this will be out or if, if it's gonna work um you have to like update the key uh, like every couple of hours so that kind of sucks but I mean if, if it's legal I suppose that you know it's something to uh, you know check out uh, but also what we don't know about this new update is that you know it may fix some battery issues that people is having um, and also Apple may have patched the pod 2 gs uh, new jailbreak exploit that at least will be able to jailbreak um, what else? Yeah, the, the iPhone 3GS, the iPad Touch 4th generation, iPad 1, uh, what else? The iPhone 4, all on iOS 5.0.1. Uh, now, Pod2G hasn't really said that much about the iPhone 4S uh, and the iPad 2, but hopefully this jailbreak will work for those devices as well. He is gonna buy them, uh, that's what he said on his blog. Uh, so that's kind of awesome because he's, you know, he got, you know, a lot of donations. So hopefully he will get it to work on those devices as well. But, I mean, right now I suggest that you be careful and don't update to this latest update. If you see that there's a new update out that is being called the 9A5 or 400 and 406. Um, yeah, but uh, just quick status updates here. Uh, you can go ahead and check out in your iTunes if you have this latest update because I definitely don't have it. So awesome! See you guys.